What's going on Prestige community, it's game time live here. If you enjoyed my video on PMHD, come check me out. My sub link is at the top of the description. And I hope to see you all back in the next video. Bye guys! Yo Prestige fam, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, I'm giving away free Fortnite V-Bucks, GTA 5 shark cards and Apex coins only for you guys. To be a part of it, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment on what you want to win or anything else about the video. Winners are announced bi-weekly on Sundays. Enjoy the video. Deuces! Hey everyone and welcome back to this brand new video uploading here on the channel of GameTime Life. Now in this video I basically have another full tutorial on how to save the green duffel bag working off the latest patch of 1.46 without save wizards. Now for this glitch you need a lot of patience and sometimes it can go completely wrong. This is I think my fifth attempt in getting the green uh, duffel bag. And basically I will show the tutorial for the female in this video. So, like I said, I will basically be featuring the whole tutorial in this video. Um, and like I said, you need a lot of patience and make sure that you follow all the steps from this video correctly in order to get yourself the green duffel bag. So let's just start off with this video. So we're going to be starting off in single player for the very first step for the preparation and you want to make your way over inside of director mode. Now inside director mode, first of all you want to go over to the shortlisted actors and just empty that all out by pressing triangle. And if it is all empty, then you're good to go. So now if it is all empty, you want to go to the actors to go to the online characters and shortlist the character where you want the green duffel back on. It can be your second or first character, it doesn't matter. Shortlisted it with triangle. Now, as soon as you've done that, you want to back out and just go over to the animal section. And from here, shortlist any bird that you have unlocked in director mode. If you do not have a bird yet, you watch the video from the link in the description box down below, showing you the peyote plant locations and how to unlock the birds. So now if you go to the shortlist actors, you should see your online character and the birds underneath. If you got that, you're good to go. All you have to do is back out and hit exit to story modes. As soon as you are in story mode, you want to make your way over to a GTA 5 invite only session. So once you are here in an invite only session, we're going to be doing the preparation to dupe the birds. This is not to like bring the duffel bag online, but only to dupe the birds, to freeze the mask and to find the green duffel bag or the black open duffel bag. Whatever duffel bag you want to bring online, they are not blacklisted. Like I said, you can do this on the second or the first character, so I'm doing it on my second character, so make sure you are online with that character that you're using for director mode. So, you want to make your way over to this week's time trial, and for me the time trial was right there. If you do not see the time trial, then you want to go to your interaction menu, go to the height options, from there go to other, and then you will see the time trial, and make sure you set that over to show just like you see here in the video. Now if you got that set to show and you're here at the time trial, you can go there with your personal vehicle or just a random street vehicle, doesn't matter. And you want to make sure that you have a standard outfit on your male or your female character. So for the female, I already have the standard outfit on. For the male, you can put on the effortless outfit and remove the glasses. And for the female, remove the earrings. Now, um, what you have to do is just simply drive inside the purple marker and make sure that you have a yellow safe icon trigger it in the bottom right corner and now you can do that by putting on a parachute just like i did in the gameplay right here or put on any accessory and just take it back off so you have that yellow safe icon if you got that you're good to go you want to d drive inside of the purple marker and you want to press right on the d-pad to start the time trial then you want to hold down on the d-pad and switch over to any story mode character and hit x now if you get stuck in the clouds while loading back to single player and if you have experienced this before, you can go to the pause section, you can go to creator and from there go to story mode when starting the time trial. So as soon as you are back here in story mode, you want to go back to director mode. And from here you want to go over to the shortlisted actors and just simply put a rubber band around your joystick and your controller. And then you should see that the birds will start duplicating if you did everything correctly. 
Now, if you notice that your bird doesn't start duplicating, you want to go back to the online session. You want to put on the parachute or take it back off so you have another yellow save icon. Start the time trial again and then your bird should be duping. Then there should be no problem. So now this duping process can take up to 30 minutes of your time. I'm not going to explain too much because this glitch takes long or else this video will take really, really long. So this duping takes 30 minutes and in the end your character will get on top of the bill of hay. So I'm just going to skip this part forward until my character split, uh, switches over on top of the bill of hay. So as you can see in the video right here, my character just switched it over to the bill of hay, just like you see in the gameplay. Now from this point, if your character is standing on top of there, you will be hovering over the birds. You want to hit triangle to remove the birds and then you will automatically switch over to your online character. Just want to back out of the shortlist, go to the actors, go to the beach bums, your character will be standing back inside the trailer. And from this point, you can start searching the outfit so we can freeze. Now the freeze method is up in the description box down below. It is basically a whole method showing you how to freeze. I will not include that in this video. I will only explain you the basics of freezing. So you want to make sure that your character doesn't glitch to the NPC's character. So while you're searching for the stick Christmas mask, which are also linked in the description box down below, make sure that your character doesn't glitch out. So what you have to do is you only have to pay attention to the Christmas mask and you want to shortlist three outfits which have the Chris or the stick Christmas mask. So like I said, the stick Christmas masks will be featured in the description box. So shortlist any outfits which have those masks. So if you have three outfits shortlisted which has those masks, then you can now do the freezing part. So make sure that your character doesn't glitch out and if you're ready to freeze, then all you have to do is just go over to the shortlisted actors and from here you want to remove your online character. Now you should have your three outfits set right there. You want to hold up on the d-pad and spam square at the same time and do this for about two seconds. Then you want to quickly back out and go over to any category and start pressing square to see if anything froze on the outfit. So what we want to have is that the Christmas mask must be freeze it. So this process of freezing can take a little bit of time. Some people hit it really quickly. Others are having um, issues with this. But for me, it takes around an hour or two hours before I have my Christmas mask frozen. So keep doing this, pressing up on the D-pad or holding that button and pressing square at the same time, spamming it. And then go over to any section, press square until your Christmas mask is frozen. So as you can see in the gameplay right here, after about two hours, after spamming and just going up with the D-pads, you should see that my gingerbread happy face mask is basically frozen on my outfit. So this makes it a lot easier to find ourselves the green duffel bag. So if you have it frozen, you can now actually look for the green duffel bag. Now for the green duffel bag, um, it may not be sticking over to the armor. I will show you everything in this gameplay, but for now I'll be searching the very first green duffel bag. And if you have a green duffel bag, you just want to hit triangle and just shortlist that outfit. And as you can see in the gameplay right here, I was very stupid. I had a green duffel bag right there, but I just skipped past it. Like I was so concentrated and then I just skipped past the green duffel bag. So that's why I paused it for a second and blamed myself. But if you have a green duffel bag, make sure you shortlist it. And I will show you at the end how to like remove the armor and make sure that the duffel bag is not stick over. So as you can see in the gameplay right here, after some searching, I shortlisted a couple of um, green duffel bag outfits, as you can see in the gameplay right here. Now, for example, I'm going to be grabbing the top one right there. And I'm going to show you how to remove the armor. And if the armor gets removed without the duffel bag being removed, that's, that, then you know it's being compatible to go online. So put on that outfit, go to the story characters and hover over Brad. It should take off the armor. If it takes the duffel bag away too, then this outfit cannot be brought over to online. Because it's stuck over to the armor and you cannot transfer it over to different outfits. So keep that in mind. Test all your outfits by hovering over Brad. Now, if your armor goes away and you have the duffel bag still on, you want to hit triangle and shortlist it. And that means this outfit is compatible to bring over to online. 
So do this for all your outfits with the green duffel bag that you have. And if you got a couple of outfits shortlisted, I have two outfits shortlisted right there, which is kind of a risk because if you exit director mode and go back inside, the outfits will change. So if you have a fully invisible outfit, it might be a risk that it doesn't go online. I've experienced that about five times right now. So, but this time it actually worked for me. So if you got them set and you have the armor, remove it and they're computable. You want to hit X on any outfits. Just take it inside of director mode. And inside director mode, wait a couple of seconds. Then just hold down on the D-pad. Switch over to Franklin, Michael, Trevor and hit X. And then you should spawn in story mode. Now if you are here in story mode, before you go online. So we can do the online process to bring the duffel back online. You want to pull up your phone and just make a quick save on the phone so that the outfits are saved inside of director mode because if your game might crash at any point in this glitch then you will lose the duffel bags in your shortlist so make sure you make a quick save if you got the game saved you can now press pause and simply make your way over to a invite only session now if you join an invite only session you should spawn in immediately after that you get this error message like rockstar games edits all you have to do on that is hit X and back in story mode, go back to online. So I'm back here in a online session and if you have the outfit brought over to online, make sure you apply a standard outfit again, because now we're going to be doing the steps to actually bring the duffel back online. So you want to put on the parachutes on either your male or your female character on top of your standard outfits. And then you want to take it back off and this should trigger a safe icon. If it doesn't trigger a save icon in the bottom right corner, then it's okay. You can just go to pause, you can go to online, go to jobs. From here, go to play job, rockstar created, go to parachute and set up the very first parachute mission. Now the progress will be autom automatically save it. So there is no worry for the yellow save icon. Just take the parachute off, but make sure that you have purchased it and that, is it, and that it is inside of your inter interaction menu. Okay, so you want to launch up this parachuting mission all by yourself. Just simply hit ready to play and the job will start up. Now you will get in this helicopter right there and all you have to do is press square to jump outside of the helicopter. Now you want to hit X and just simply open up your parachute and just fly through one checkpoint, doesn't really matter. Just fly in the sky for a couple of seconds and then all you have to do is just quit the job by pulling up your phone pressing X, square, and then X again. Now you'll be spawning back in an online session. So from this point, you can uh, register as a CEO and just call in your buzzards or just uh, get yourself your oppressor if you have one. And now you want to fly over to where the time trial is located. Do not go inside a vehicle or something. Just call in that buzzard or just go on your oppressor if you have bought it. And just go back over to where the time trial is located. So once you are back here at the time trial, you want to jump out of the aircraft or jump from your oppressor. And you just want to open up the parachute. Now you want to retire as CEO if you did that. And you just want to open up the interaction menu and hover over kill yourself. Now as soon as you spawn or if you land safely on the ground. And as soon as you can hit X, you want to hit X to like kill yourself after your character takes off the parachute. Now if your character is covered in blood, then it means that the preparation has been correctly. If you see the blood, then you did it all good. But if you see your character without any blood, it might be a risk that your outfit doesn't go online. I experienced that because I've been trying with the green duffel bag. But you can still try it if your character isn't covered in blood, no worries. But this is just a thing. I think it will help bring in the outfit online. So now, before you go back over to the time trial, you want to make sure that your spawn location is set over to any of your garages. I don't know, but I hit it the very first try to bring this outfit online if I set my spawn location to my garage. So get back inside any vehicle, drive back to the time trial, you'll start it, hold down on the D-pad, switch over to a story mode character, or go to pause creator, and from there go to story mode. So we're almost done here, this is the preparation to bring it online. Now we're going to be doing the kill the bird method to bring our shortlisted outfit online. So I'm going to check my shortlisted outfit. This outfit right there, it didn't change much. So this one is computable to go online. 
So for the kill the bird method, you want to go to director mode, go to the actors, go to the animals, and pick any bird and just enter director mode with the bird. Now if you are here in director mode with the birds, for kill the bird method, you just want to go over to any highway roads and just want to fly like where the um, cars are located. So we're going to be crashing our bird underneath the vehicle so that it dies. So if you are flying like this, you want to open up the interaction menu and hover over quit director mode. I should see a truck appearing. You want to fly as low as possible. And before the bird actually dies and crashes underneath the vehicle, you want to spam X on quit director mode. And if you did it all correctly, your screen will go black for like 30 seconds or so. And then in the end, you should see the wasted bird screen like you see here on the screen. So I hit this the very first time. It could take a couple of tries. It's not very hard to do. We just need to get the hang of it. Keep trying until you get the wasted bird screen. Now if you've seen the screen and it goes black again, wait 10 seconds on this black screen. Then you want to hold the interaction menu button, scroll up once and then hit X and hit X again. You should be brought back over to director mode. Now from here we can go ahead and bring it online. So you want to go over to the shortlisted actors and just simply hit X on your duffel bag outfit that you want to bring online. So for me, I'm going to be using this outfit right there because the other one turned it all invisible and I'm not going to bring it online. I think it's scary. I don't know, that will not go online. So I'm going to be using this outfit right there with the pink tank top. So hit X on your duffel bag outfit taken inside of director mode. And then again in director mode, you do not have to wait. You can just immediately go over and flick over to your story mode character by holding down on the D-pad. So switch over to a story mode character and hit X from that point. And as soon as you are back here in story mode, you want to hit pause, go to the online tab and go to a invite only session. Now with all your hard work and courage about six hours later, and if you did it all correctly, you should spawn in your side your garage and you should see, catch a glimpse of your outfit. If you see that your outfit is brought over online, but you're wearing a parachute, then it means that the outfit is compatible, but the duffel bag didn't activate, so you have to do kill the bird again. If you do not see your outfit, but you see the default outfit, then it means the outfit is not compatible with the duffel bag so you have to search a new one and i know that sounds really frustrating but do not give up you can hit this you want the green duffel bag so spend your time on this glitch so what i had is i was very lucky the outfit was over online and i already saw my green duffel bag on my female character so i'm just going to hit x on the error message back in story mode i'm going back over to an invite only session and boom there will be my green duffel bag so now for the last steps, I'm going to show you how to save it. So like I said, if you're wearing the parachute, uh, put on the standard outfit again, repeat the steps in order to save the duffel bag with the parachute mission and everything. Do kill the bird again and try again to bring it online. So now I'm go going to show you how to save it. The saving method is not that hard to do, but you cannot just save it inside of the store because it will say you will be wearing a duffel bag. So you want to uh, grab yourself any helicopter, it can be from CEO or whatever, and you just want to fly over to where the mask store is located. Now make sure you fly above the sea so that the helicopter crashes inside the sea so you will not get a wanted level or else you cannot access the mask store. So now if you are high up and if you are flying above the sea, you want to jump out of the aircraft and just simply open up the parachute. So now you want to fly over to where the mask store is located and all you have to do is just simply crash inside of the mask store. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to hold L1 and R1 to go slower and just want to crash inside any of these things so that your character falls on the ground. And as soon as it stands back up, you want to hit right on the D-pad to access any counter. You will not see the duffel bag, don't worry, but just save your outfit on... Um, any slot that you have left. It doesn't matter where you save it. Just make sure you save it Now you want to back out open up your interaction menu go to style and just simply apply that outfit And then you should see your duffel bag and it is all saved and secured now Now the last thing I'm going to show you is how to transfer it over to any of your saved outfits So for that you want to grab yourself a helicopter again 
you want to jump out of the helicopter and then just open up your interaction menu go over to outfit and just scroll over any outfit where you want the duffel bag on so now you want to land on the ground and as soon as the character takes off the parachute you want to hit x so just like you see here on the screen and then you should see the duffel bag appear right here on your character so now you have, uh, you're just going to be doing the same thing over again. So fly above the sea, jump out, crash inside the mask store, access a counter and save it. It's really that easy to do. So the problem was with if your uh, duffel bag was stuck over to the, to the uh, armor, then it means you cannot transfer to different outfits, which is useless because you can only wear it on that director mode outfit. But this is so much better and it looks so much better if you like put it on your actual modded outfits. So this was the whole tutorial on the um, duffel bag methods. I think I explained it everything. If you still have some questions, make sure you ask that in the comment section and just help each other out because I cannot reply to all comments because most of the things will be said here in the video and also ask it by other uh, people in the question or in the comment section. So if it worked good for you, please leave a like, it will be highly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel of Games on Life for more outfits, glitches and outfit transfer content. And turn on post notifications to get informed with the latest uploads here on the channel. And I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye everyone! Yo, what's good Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.